Welcome back. Time now for national news. A grand jury has charged former President Trump in the 2020 election probe, and now his political rivals have plenty to say. NBC's Garrett Haig has that story. This morning, Donald Trump accused of grave offenses against the country he once led and the Constitution he swore to protect. The former president indicted by a federal grand jury on four felony counts accused of conspiring to overturn the 2020 election he lost to President Joe Biden. That effort, according to special counsel Jack Smith, culminating in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Described in the indictment, it was fueled by lies. Lies by the defendant targeted at obstructing a bedrock function of the U.S. government, the nation's process of collecting, counting, and certifying the results of the presidential election. The sweeping 45-page indictment charges the former president with conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, and conspiracy against people's right to vote and have their votes counted. Prosecutors say despite losing the election, Mr. Trump was, quote, determined to remain in power and spread lies that he had actually won. But prosecutors say Mr. Trump knew those claims were false. The indictment outlining that the former president was told there was no evidence of election fraud by key officials, including the vice president, Justice Department leaders, the director of national intelligence, and even state courts. Mr. Trump, prosecutors say, deliberately disregarded the truth. We will never give up. We will never concede. Prosecutors say the former president launched a, quote, criminal scheme shortly after Election Day. Joined by six unnamed and unindicted co-conspirators, including attorneys and officials. One appears to be Rudy Giuliani, whose attorney said Mr. Trump was acting in good faith. The former president defiant, dismissing the charges, asking on his social media platform, quote, why didn't they bring this ridiculous case 2.5 years ago? They wanted it right in the middle of my campaign. That's why. The former president's top 2024 rival, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, tweeting, one of the reasons our country is in decline is the politicization of the rule of law. But Mr. Trump's former vice president, Mike Pence, says the indictment, quote, serves as an important reminder. Anyone who puts himself over the Constitution should never be president of the United States. According to the indictment, Pence took contemporaneous notes of his conversations with Trump in the run-up to January 6th. Those notes now in the special counsel's possession. 